Good morning, May 24th. Welcome back to the garden. We're about to plant some sweet potatoes. Thought we'd go over this just a little bit before we get going. Potatoes and sweet potatoes need to be treated completely differently. The first year I planted potatoes, I had a specimen just like this, and I put them in the mulch just like I do the potatoes. Then I found out all that you're gonna grow is uh, green leaves. There were roots coming off the slips and those went ahead and made their own plants. So I did get a pretty good harvest. But since then I've discovered that you need to plant from slips. I'm gonna plant this one just like it is so we can run an experiment and see what we have going on. Now to make your sweet potato slips, you'll see a lot of people telling you you need to use toothpicks and put in a glass of water, blah, blah, blah. I just cut the ends off, set them in a little bowl and make sure I keep the water on them. They do just fine. Most everything that you see planted here came off of these two. The bigger two in this bowl are Christmas potatoes from our harvest last year. I've been pulling slips off of them for quite a little while. And some of these that are rooted that need to go into the ground. It's too early to go in the ground obviously, so we gotta put them into some pots. Always save your pots. See how nicely these root and water get a little tangled if you leave them in for a while though. Just kind of gently pull them apart. And get all the roots down in there. Get those in kind of snug. make sure we have enough water on them so that the soil settles. Now these are easy enough to get. You take the potato from the store, you leave it sitting for a little bit and they just start putting on slips. We're going to take these slips, pull them off and plant them directly into the garden. We seem to have pretty good luck rooting straight into the soil. Here's one of the things I found out about transplanting sweet potato slips. If they got a lot of roots on them, more than likely you're going to lose all the leaves gonna think you have nothing but a stick there. Trust me, they're just putting on roots underneath. The leaves come back. Every one of these lost every one of their leaves. With the exception of one or two smaller ones that I pulled straight off of the potato and just planted without having them rooted first. Now I've already pulled back some of the mulch down to the soil. Make sure all the roots are down in there. I'm just gonna set that on top of the soil. I'm gonna gently backfill with the mulch and just leave and we'll watch the progress and we'll see what we get. First sweet potato in the ground. Off of this big potato I'm going to take the three largest slips and we'll put them along this trellis on the outside. We're going to take these off just as if we were going to put them in water or into soil in a container to get them rooted. Just grab it, pull it off. Pull the mulch back. Oh, stick your finger in about a knuckles deep. Set that slip down in there. Back fill with soil. And we're gonna put a little mulch back in around it. And we'll see what we get. Same thing. Just grab a hold of the slip right at the base of the potato. Pull it off. Poked a little hole down in the soil. I'll take that last one. We did with the rest of them, pull the mulch back. Poke a little hole in the ground. Break it off. Set it in the hole, snug your soil back around. Back fill with a little mulch. We'll see what we get. On this Memorial Day, I want to thank everybody that made the ultimate sacrifice so that I could come out here and do what I wanted to do, not what somebody told me to do. Got a big push, sweet potatoes to plant. Let's get right to it. For all of those that are new to the channel, this is deep mulch, and what we do, take, pull the mulch back, get down to the soil, move the worms out of the way, much as possible. We're gonna do several different varieties of planting sweet potatoes today. These are slips that we started in a glass and then we transferred over to a container. Now we're gonna put these in the garden. So we're gonna plant these 
We're not going to plant these the same way as we do most container things. This entire slip will root. First year I did this, I thought they were I thought you planted sweet potatoes just like you plant potatoes. So I dropped them on the ground, I covered them up. I got lucky. I got a few sweet potatoes. But each slip that comes off of there turns into its own plant. Now the here's the weird thing that we're going to experiment with here. This is a deep mulch. We're trying not to disturb the life underneath the ground. But if we plant this too deep, then the tubers, the new sweet potatoes, are going to be deep and we're going to have to dig for them. So last year when I put it on top and covered it up, the slips ran underneath the mulch and popped up here and there. Every one of these little bumps along the slips will turn into roots. Each one of those roots will produce some sort of a tuber. I had some very long, thin tubers. I had some pretty good sized potatoes. Actually, these slips are off of those potatoes. So anyhow, the experiment is, how deep do we plant these? And the roots are good and established. So I'm gonna say we're gonna plant it just to container depth in the soil. It's probably far deeper than it needs to be or not deep enough, I'm not sure. Then we'll put some of the mulch back in around it. And we'll see what we get. The thing about the sweet potatoes that I found during the rooting of the slips and transferring onto, and transferring into containers, sometimes the leaves look pathetic for a while. Just give it some time. And after all, gardening is patience. This mulch isn't very thick right here. We'll be adding through the summer. So let's do about the same thing. Make a little hole in the soil. When we transplanted these slips. These roots are nice. Put it down. Snug in the soil back around it. Move the mulch back. Dig a little hole in the soil. Pop these out. Put the mulch back. That's all there is to it. There you go. Sweet potato slips in the ground. What do I say? We'll see what we get. How about those subscriber submissions? Weren't those great? Hey, we want to celebrate your successes in your garden. You want to be part of the subscriber submission group. Go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, and then message me over on Facebook. We'd love to celebrate what you're doing in your garden, whether it's in a small area, a container, a bucket, a traditional garden, a raised bed, whatever it is. I guarantee you other gardeners want to see what you're doing. We all want to celebrate each other's successes. My wife wanted me to tell you that out of all the years I've been growing lettuce for her, in this deep mulch, this is the best we've ever had it come up. And I've done no work. You saw me plant it. She's been out here almost every night. The iceberg looks like it's gonna iceberg. The Swiss chard is coming on beautiful. You saw what we did with the kale. The deep mulch method. The better the mulch, the better the soil. The better the soil, the better the plants. I've only been doing this a year and a half, and this is the kind of results we're getting. And I was just looking for a way so I didn't have to weed all summer long. I like Ruth Stout's philosophy. I'm only gonna do what I have to do. If I don't wanna do it, I don't have to, I'm not going to. On this Memorial Day, I wanna thank everybody that made the ultimate sacrifice so I could come out here and sweat and dig, and show you guys how to plant a sweet potato slip, Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.